these uh, all-wheel drive bikes. Um, do, do you think that that's, I mean, uh, that's got to affect your, your handling? Um, is it, does, do those kind of bikes handle better or worse than, than your average dirt bike? I think, you know, we tested a bit with all-wheel drive when I was with KTM and I mean the bike in certain areas is really good. It, you know, you've got to look at also sort of the sprung and unsprung weight relationships and obviously with all-wheel drive, you know, you've got, you have extra weight on the front wheel and extra weight on the bike and in terms of traction it was a good system and, and it had advantages in certain areas but it wasn't, I would say, a major breakthrough that we thought, okay, this is something for production and, and also cost-wise, you know, it was it was expensive and uh, you know the concept was good and, and if they could refine it yeah i think you know there is potential for that but you know we didn't have like better lap times or anything i think that you know there were certain areas like it had advantages but a good ride on, on, a, on a rear wheel drive normal conventional bike still we found was more successful and it just worked better for us you know, I, I don't i think where people wanted them for is, is the dunes you know Doing Dakar and stuff like that, they thought maybe I mean, they'd help you there. Times and stuff, sure, it's an advantage, you know. If you mm. got traction on both wheels, and it was a, I rode the bike myself, and, and it was an interesting bike to ride. But uh, I mean, I don't know. It did affect suspension. We had to do some pretty major changes, especially on the forks, to to compensate for that front wheel drive action. And yeah, I mean, it, so. It had, I mean, it had pros and cons, but it just—it wasn't something we chose to to develop further.